everyone and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Architectural Design Career Part Number 27 and I'm starting kind of early because we are getting robbed. How wonderful. Okay, go ahead and get up. Yes, there is a burglar and we do have house alarms so that'll work. A couple of things though, you know, while we're casually getting robbed. First, I'm using some new headphones. Hopefully you guys have already seen that video. Maybe it went up yesterday. I don't know. If it didn't, it'll be up probably tomorrow. But I'm using some headphones that are new and I'm definitely trying to get used to them. Um, where'd he go? Did he even come inside? I don't think he did. Yeah, I think he he ran okay um anyways they're like noise canceling and so i'm having a lot of problems like trying to figure out how loud my voice needs to be but uh you know we'll get through it it's just a thing that happens but we're gonna go ahead and let everyone get ready this morning it is monday so we start back work um but everyone is pretty rested well i guess you could go could go back to bed i don't really know what time you go to work um in four hours so and eh, he could go back to bed but that's no fun and i did change her outfits um i think her dang did i really do that i think her everyday outfit is the same as her um the same as her winter outfit and I did not mean to do that or is this How about Jokey? What's the newbie? I didn't give her those shoes I'm so confused okay hold on let me run back into create a sim right fast I did not give her those shoes um in fact I don't really remember what I gave her I thought I gave her something else oh that wrong wrong thing Oh, this is her career. Well, girl, you ain't wearing them shoes. Because them do not look good. Let's just give her... Um, can we give her heels? Let's just do... I mean... Let's do these. This will work. I don't really know what she should wear for her career. But I know I knew that that wasn't her every day. I didn't think, unless I just completely made a huge mistake. Um, so yeah, while we're still getting the part started, I do want to apologize for not having videos up last week. Um, I got really busy no, all of a sudden. Sure. That's her every day. Anyways, I got really busy all of a sudden, like just out of nowhere, and there really wasn't much I could do about it. But school is almost out for me. It ends officially the twenty first. So, uh, my, like, my technical school ends the 20th, and then I go back to take one last CNA test to get, to hopefully get my CNA license the 21st. Um, so, yes, that'll be fun. But, yeah, I just got busy, and I was like, hmm, my bad. I actually, it was kind of funny, I had videos prepped and ready. I just didn't have thumbnails for them, and I don't like to upload videos without thumbnails. Personal preference, obviously, but I don't enjoy it. And so I was like, well, that will just have to be okay. <laughs> so, yeah, my bad. Is not is this the first day she's going back to work with her toddler? Or not with her toddler, but like having a toddler. We're probably going to have to hire a babysitter because she's going to be gone all day today. And there's not much I can do about it. So, yeah, she is a workaholic. Um, I do want to adopt um, a child soon. Within the next couple of days. But uh, I think we're just going to have to hire a babysitter. Because we can't stay at home with her. Which, I mean, is terrible, but we can't. <laughs> Sorry, June. We need 
need to work too. I guess we don't technically have to. Like, we'll still get our thousand dollars, but it's nice to get a little extra. Um, is there anything specific? No, you could get a promotion here pretty soon. Go ahead and do some hard work. The animals love the produce you've grown for them. More importantly, you save the science facility quite a bit of money, which means there's just enough cash left over to pay you this bonus. Thanks for the help. It's no problem. We actually have quite a bit of money. And, uh, I wouldn't mind. How many other jobs does she have today? Actually, just two. Well, it's going to be a pretty easy day then. Um, what is this? Living room redesign. All right. Um, I still really need to figure out this career because I'm struggling with it. Yes, still. Okay, don't make fun of me. All right, so we need to build a teenage sanctuary. Sanctuary. Um, I guess let's just put it up here. We have 3,000 simoleons. So, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. I know one of the key things is to, like, keep some old stuff. Um, but, how was that even right there at the end? What? Mind blown. Um, so, while I decorate this, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some information. Um, I just got a new puppy. Yes, yes, I did. And he has been, oh man, Whew. he has been very difficult to, well, he's not, he's not, he's really not that bad, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, just leave me alone, let me sleep. I've lost so much sleep over him. And as much as I love him, it can definitely be a little frustrating, um, to constantly have to get up and constantly have to go make sure he's okay and i don't know sometimes i'm just like please please let me sleep please i'm gonna move this over a little bit yes it's not even but it's fine um overall he's really not a bad puppy he's just he wants what he wants like as soon as he wants it and if you do not deliver then of course, you're just a terrible mother, don't you know? Um, but his name is Ollie. He is, he's actually, I had another dog who at this point, we have not seen him in a really long time. And anyways, I had him, and this is a puppy from him. That didn't update. So that was kind of one of those things where it was like, do we get a puppy? Do we not? I don't know. Um, but we ended up getting him, and the first couple of nights, we've had him for two weeks now, the first couple of nights were rough. He had me up, um, basically at 10, 2, and then 6, um, wanting attention, and then after a couple of nights, after we kind of got him on a schedule of some sort, he was a lot better with the whole waking up in the middle of the night thing. And now, he pretty much goes to bed at 9, and he's up at 6, kind of, you know, like clockwork, um, which is, it's nice to have him on that kind of schedule, but at the same time, it's just like, ugh, I really just want to sleep in, I don't feel like feeding you, but I have to because, you know, he's my baby, and I'm not going to let him starve. Um, I wonder if I can get to that, I may need to move this over one more. So right now he's sleeping while I'm recording, and I really hope he does not wake up. Um, he shouldn't, but he he shouldn't do a lot of things that he does. So I really have no idea if he's going to wake up or not. The game plan is to have him sleep, because um, I've got a little bit of work to do today, actually. Normally, I try not to work on Saturdays. I try to have Saturdays as my off day. But that has not happened. I've been super, super busy. And I've just had to make Saturday a work day. Um, which obviously is not the end of the world. It's just a little on the frustrating side to have to do stuff on Saturday. Especially when, like, you know, I want to spend time with my boyfriend and hang out with him. Because we don't, uh, we see each other during the week. But, you know, we're at school and stuff. So it's a little different. 
Um, it has taken me some getting used to, that's for sure. But it's really not, it's not too bad. It's just frustrating at times <laughs> um, to kind of be like, oh, well, I can't come over because I have this and this and this. And it's just one of those things that you have to deal with in life. And sometimes you don't get to see the people that you love a lot. But uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to be okay with it. Um, I feel like I'm just kind of... Ooh, that's a bigger sofa than I thought it was going to be. What about this one? I kind of want a black sofa to just kind of match the black theme I have going on in his room. He does have a, a red a red here. I don't even know what kind of bed that is, to be honest. It's probably like a vampire bed. Uh, that's blue. I mean green. I know my colors. What about this one? Oh, this one's very pretty. Okay, I dig this one. What if we, like, shove this TV in the corner and then kind of shove this over here? Does that... I mean, it's kind of the first thing you see when you come in. So I guess I could move it over here. And then put the computer there. I just want to make sure he can get over here to it. And he can from coming over on that side. So. And then... Um, he needs some video games. Uh, where do you find those at? Oh, there they are. Alright, let's do kind of a more expensive video game because we do have the money. I can get it really close. There we go. But then the guy can't fix it. I think I can put it here. We'll move this back a little bit and I'll put it there. Maybe he can get to that. If not, I will move it. Um, I just want to do like a little one shelf bookshelf, I think. Not one shelf, but like one little square. One shelf bookshelf. Jeez, Hannah. I do want to do some darker wood. Oh, yes, that looks beautiful. Kind of. Listen, it's the best it can be, okay? Stop complaining. Because I know you're complaining. Alright, we're going to throw two more back here because you can never have enough bookshelves. If anyone says you have too many bookshelves, they're terrible people and you don't need to be friends with him. Them, not him. Could be him. I'm throwing another window in, in here. Um, because... Okay, I can only have it face that way. So we're just going to turn that one around too because it would look weird. Um, So he originally had a green desk... But we're not going to go with that. We're going to stick to our darker theme. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, honey. And you guys have plenty of money left over. So don't even want to hear it because we're going to add some decor. Um, I do want to change the color of his room to be a little bit darker. I like this green, but I wouldn't mind having it. A few shades darker. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, let's do some lamps. I mean, some lights. Here and there. And everywhere. Let's do one right there. I kind of want to do one here, but I don't really know where to put it. It's kind of in the way. So we'll just do one there. Right, sweet. Is this it? I mean, I feel like I need something else. I feel like he might need a rug. Do you need a rug, sir or ma'am? I guess I kind of catered this to a guy's teenage sanctuary. That really wasn't the plan to begin with. But here we are and there is no going back. So these are my favorite types of rugs, to be honest. But does he want a rug? Well, that's a tiny rug. Um, okay, maybe I'm not feeling rug. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world. You know what? It's missing a plant. We need a plant right there. Boom. Tiny plant. Let's put another tiny plant because everyone needs tiny plants in their life. Actually, it's kind of missing a desk lamp. I want to do one of those, you know, the usual desk lamps where you look at it and you're like, wow, that is actually a desk lamp. Uh, one of these looking desk lamps. Not really a rocket ship one. Do they have normal ones? Well, 
What? Okay, they have this. Oh, they have this one. Oh, it's a duck. What? Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay, never mind. We'll just go with the ones I put over here, which are still very pretty. Everyone just needs a nice lamp at their desk. Um, I want to do some more plants, but I don't really know. Because I have found that plants increase your chances of, like, everything. It's like, oh, you put a plant? Yes, 500 more dollars for you. Oh, here's another plant? Here's another 500 dollars. Simoleons, I guess. Technically, but, uh, dollars. <laughs> but I don't really have any places to put plants. So that kind of stinks. Um, do we have any... That's a sketch. That's a sketch. Name office. Utopian city. Should we throw a utopian city in here? Utopian two. Crazy colors. The nin oh, should we put the ninja one in here? I'm really not feeling the ninja one, but I may put it in here. This is a pretty cool painting, honestly. That like, ugh, that is so pretty. Oh, we don't have room. What? Do we really not have room? But it's such a pretty painting. Uh, probably, yeah, I was about to say, probably gonna lose some simoleons over that. That's why I hate taking them out. Is this it? There we go. We can fit there. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, I like that. That is pretty cool. So, we are going to turn in this renovation. Also, if you hear a camera go turn off, off to the side of me. Um, I'm using it to film a video, uh, another video. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but I am. So you might hear me turn it off. I'll probably tell you if I do, but yeah, just letting you know. I think it turned out really cute. You look pregnant. You're kind of doing the pregnant wobble. Oops. Yeah, I think it's adorable. You have to brighten the light so you can really get the full effect of things. But, I like it. Yeah. I like it. 10 out of 10. Where's your problem? Sushi isn't agreeing with you? Yes. Overall, I think you did a great job. I love all those handcrafted objects you use. Thank you so much for doing this. You have totally transformed my house. It's great. Alyssa earned 1,760 simoleons, including a $1,000 bonus. Yay! Alright, let's go roll. We have one more house. And that's it. So, we have a quite a large budget. So, we're going all out. I'm trying to do so much better on these. I think it's kind of working, but... You never know. Okay. Uh, you're a workaholic, so you're probably going to want a computer. We have 9,000 simoleons for the living room redesign. So, let's throw all of this away and the first thing I want to do is fill all of this in all right so now that we have done that let's start okay I kind of want to change the wall color too I did read a lot of comments that were just like go all out change everything and you will get a lot more money I agree and I disagree I found that that works but that also doesn't work. It's like a hit or a miss at all times. Um, so I kind of want to go with like a basic little brownie color. I'm going to change the color of the hardwood floors. Um, we're going to make them a little darker actually. I do want to make this a smidge darker. And maybe it will turn out okay. Okay, yeah, I like that. Maybe a little... Um, there. Nope. A little. There. Don't touch it. Alright, there we go. Now let's change the hardwood floors to a little bit darker. If you can't tell, I like my darker woods. Like, I'm not a fan of light woods. I like medium to dark woods. Um, personally. So. Actually, I'm really thinking maybe the Island Paradise. Yes. Let's do it this way. I think it all ends up going the same direction. 
Um, yeah, I don't think it matters. Let's do this one. See, it already looks a ten times better because I know what I'm doing. All right, let's give you a sofa. And I guess we really don't have a lot of room to work with. But we will work with what we have. Let's do this one. Or does brown or white not look good in here? I don't know. I'm having mixed feelings. I want to do brown. Because I think it's just going to look better overall. Um, but I don't want it to make the room look too dark like that. I don't like. What if we did. What about this one? This one has kind of a. Yes. Okay. Once we make the lights bright. I think you'll, you guys will notice a difference. Don't give up on me just yet. <laughs> um, oh you want four living chairs? Oh jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of chairs, but we do have quite a bit of money to spend. So I'm gonna go all out with the appliances and everything. Like, let's do this. And you do very specifically want a rug, so of course we're gonna give you one of my favorite rugs um, of all times. Oh, okay, except that it's a little too big, so we'll go with the smaller size. And I am gonna change it, so. Don't worry, we're gonna change its color to make it look better. I wish I could make the lights brighter but i can't <laughs> there are just some things that you can't do <laughs> that is one of them all right let's give them a pretty cool coffee table oh i like that um i just don't want it to be i want them to be able to get to the tv and sit down and sometimes you just okay maybe that i think that'll work now the problem comes with the fact that they want living chairs and also deleted their table so i have to get that back um i'm guessing maybe two to three sims live here so i'm gonna try and do a three table three chair table um i just don't really know what about this See, I don't, mm, I mean, I kind of like it. I kind of feel it, but I kind of don't at the same time. I want it to be square because all the other tables look weird. Let's, okay, maybe we should just do a glass table. But that looks really tiny. Alright, you know what? Let's just... We have 5,000 small ends, so we might as well spend it <laughs> that's like a terrible way to think of things like we have all of this money we might as well spend it um i don't think these yeah these are dining chairs so they don't really count but it's fun let's do the white ones i always think the white ones look better with this table personally okay so here's our problem is that we don't really have room for four living chairs like we just don't i don't even know if i could make room for four living chairs um so we're gonna have to do this slightly strategically and we're gonna start off with this i'm gonna put a little chair here and i wouldn't mind putting one here and here i hope they can get to them i think they can and maybe we should maybe no i like the way this looks or should we put two on each side Can they get here? Oh no, and you want end tables. Hmm. Because <laughs> they're not going to be able to get in this. That's the problem we are going to have. And we don't really have room to fix it. So let's move this back a little bit. But see, we still aren't going to. Let's move them here. I am going to have to move that back some though. Just because we don't really have room to have everybody come in. Okay. Nope. Then they can't get in. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Alright, we'll just move it over just a little to kind of even it out. I don't know. I 
don't think they can get in right there. Okay, we're just going to see if that works because I genuinely have no idea. Um, let's do these. Alright, I think we did the best that we could. Um, let's give them a custom painting like we do with pretty much everybody at this point. So we have the Utopian City or the Crazy Colors. We have the Zebra, but let's go with the Crazy Colors. Oops. We don't we don't need that okay yeah that adds a little pop of color to things and we can go ahead and get rid of that and turn in the renovation and hopefully they like it great to hear it's finished i'll come over to see as soon as i can please wait for me there yes ma'am or sir i think it's a sir yes it is a sir oh it's a sir with blue hair oh it's just a hat oh. disappointed maybe he won't like what i did he has a bright blue hat on i think it's better than it was that's for sure i should have put a plant I didn't put a plan. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Overall, I think you did a great job. I appreciate how much money you've saved me. Also, I absolutely loved all those handcrafted objects you used. Several of my friends have been asking about you, and I'll be happy to tell them that you did a great job on my house. Yes, we got another thousand small loan bonus. And that ends off our work for today, which is awesome because that means we get to spend time with our kid. While our husband is at work. Oh, sounds like our cats are murdering each other. Go ahead and pay the bills. Thank you for watching our kid. How are you? Alright, you look pretty good. Are you potty trained? Pick her up. I thought she got potty trained in the last part. Um, but she may not have. Honestly, I don't really remember. Why don't you come over here and play some computer games? Play a racing game. Okay, is she potty trained? She is potty trained. Alright, let's go ahead and put her down then. And we're going to go ahead and let her shower and use the restroom and go ahead and kind of get that out of the way. Well, I'm glad she was taken care of today because most of the time, but the babysitters do not take care of them. I guess I can have her do some painting to add to the collection of things. No, I didn't hear that. Sorry. Alright, let's have you come do some work over here. There's actually supposed to be a door right here, and I may add one because it's kind of inconvenient for them to have to walk all the way around the house. Um... Dang it. I just want to turn this off. There we go. Go ahead and tend to your garden. Because, I mean, it would only make sense to really have a door there. Or maybe there's supposed to be a door here. I'm not sure, but there's supposed to be a door at one of these places. I could always put one here. There are several places I could put a door. Um, honestly. I really like how small the kitchen is. I didn't think I would like it at first when I was building it. I was like, ooh, I'm not a fan. Because I like big kitchens. But I have, I really like it. 
Um, if I wanted to add, because I do have the wood fire oven, and I could always come out one and then have it come in. Of course, that'd mean moving uh, Mike's tank, but it's not that big of a deal. I don't even know. We really have a lot of counter space, honestly, and I really could probably put it here. So let's get the wood fire oven. I think I still have it. Yes, I do. Oh no, it's not gonna match <laughs> at all. Um, all right, we'll let's let's change it just a little. The red was a very bold move. Um, not gonna lie, but I think even though it was a really bold move, it turned out really nicely, and I really like how it turned out. Um, so, is there anything else I want to change? I want to change. I don't think I can change this because if I make this a different color oh just kidding okay it's not gonna be green I just need to change this that. oh that looks so pretty I am gonna keep this um, I'm not gonna change the colors of that because I, it doesn't look that out of place or maybe it does and I'm just terrible at color scheming and I did not put any wallpaper in the garage but it's not like we go in there anyways <laughs> I literally don't have a door to the garage oh yes I do okay do have a door <laughs> all right is there anything no you seem to be just doing your thing whoa what is that What is that? I don't think I've ever seen that. That's so weird. Like, I know the unicorn has clouds, but... I didn't think... Alright, something's going on there, and I'm not sticking around to find out what. <laughs> How is your painting going? Is it turning about... Being knowledgeable with pegs during childhood is is instrumental in successfully welding the power of logic later in life um, how's this going it's taking you a while if you paint another utopian society ooh, we will have problems let me text my boyfriend big this part's almost over actually sounded like a cat just threw up but i could be wrong What are you doing, sir? You working hard? No, no, you're not. Just kidding. What is his gardening skill, actually? Oh, he's probably going to get a promotion in the next part. He's a seven. Awesome. He's getting tired, and he's also getting hot. But he will be fine. The sun's going down, so. I need someone to make dinner, but, um, you know. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Someone needs to feed you, and. Someone needs to entertain the cats. Actually, the cats are pretty good by themselves, because we have so many, they just play with each other. Answer your phone, see who that is. No, we are married. Hmm. You're almost done. Can one of you please be almost done? I am bored. You guys are not doing anything exciting. And your daughter needs to go to bed. Alright, we're going to have her stop painting and she can finish later and we're gonna have her put june in her high chair because june needs to go to bed it's way past her bedtime so go grab juniper or june excuse me there's no juniper it's just june and i don't 
Serve her up some food of some veggie rolls. Nice job. Paranormal problems are no match for you. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Do you think I knew what that meant? You would be very, very wrong. Alright, and you can go ahead and eat some... Hey! Why did you just do that? Do not touch her! Now I can't give her the food! Oh my god! No, why did you just do that? You're the most frustrating human being ever walked this planet. Did you know that? If you didn't, now you do. Can you put- oh, She's not even going to use the freaking pre-made. Whatever. Whatever. Eat some waffles. Fortunately, Grimalkin did not catch that critter. Where are we at on time? Wow, this has almost been a 40 minute part. <laughs> that is my bad. I'm sorry, sir. Where did you... What? What is happening? What is happening? Go ahead. Don't climb. Stop, stop, stop. Just shut. Just go take a shower. You stink. Alright, do you need anything? Yes, you do. Let's go ahead and change her diaper to get that hygiene up. And we're going to go ahead and... I actually could give her a bath right fast. Alright, he's still kind of upset, but use the restroom. I have been a terrible, terrible mother to all of my sims. Alright, and I appreciate it if you went ahead and put June down. June, will you please come use the potty? So that way you don't go. Hey, hey, hey. I guess he can put her up. Or put her in her crib. Make her sound like a dog. Like, yeah, he can he can put her up. He's good. Go here. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and put June in her crib. And go to bed. Alright, my headphones have fallen off of my head. Okay, so. Oh, my game. Done that thing. Alright. Whoa. We are about to end off the part right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you have not already and you did enjoy this part, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to join me in my journey through my Let's Plays. If you'd like and also follow me on all my social media, the links and information will be located down below in the description bar. Just hit show more and we'll be showing all those links and all of that information. And I think that is all. So, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please remember that I do love you and I will see every single one of you in the next part. Goodbye, guys.